What's up guys, it's Chris Herio. Welcome to another vlog. Today I'm hanging out with my friend Mel G Fit. Say what's up to the vlog, Mel. What's up everyone? Today we're gonna be doing some handstands. I'm gonna be running Mel through handstand progressions and hopefully by the end of the session, they'll be doing some handstands. Let's do it, I'm ready. Now, every progression that we're gonna be going through today, normally it takes a significant amount of time to train every single one, but we're just gonna run through them all in a couple minutes, see how far you get. Let's do it, let's do it. I'm ready, I'm excited. So we're already warmed up and ready to go. Now, I would normally have you start off with the first progression, but I know you're pretty tough. We're gonna start you off with the second progression, all right? So that's gonna be an elevated pike hold. This is gonna build your strength to be able to hold a handstand position and get you over the fear of actually being in a handstand position, all right? So put your feet on an elevated surface, get into a push-up position, walk up until your glutes are pointed up and you're in a pike, just like this. So you see a large portion of my body weight is on top of my shoulders. Let's see you hold it for like 15 seconds. Start in a push-up position. Then you walk up, keeping your legs straight. Glutes up, there you go. Just hold it. Ooh. Oof, you got that. Normally when you're first getting started, you would train just this move for time, eventually building your strength up to be able to hold this comfortably for at least 30 seconds. All right, you're good. How'd that feel? Amazing. It's pretty, it's, it's not that hard. Yeah, it's really not that hard. A lot of people will think that, you know, when they see the handstand, they're like, oh, that's impossible. Yeah. So you're ready to move on to the next step, right? Let's that's pretty it. easy, right? Now, before we move on, I know we've been friends for a while, but this is the first time you've been on my vlog. So how about you tell everybody, how did you even get into fitness? What's that story? Um, so I ran track, right, for years, and I fell into like fitness and bodybuilding and weightlifting mm -hmm. because I stopped track. Nice. So I felt the same exact Good rush back. doing weight training that mm -hmm. I found in track. So I feel free when I work out, and that's why I fell in love with the process. The next Next step would be either going up into a wall walk, just walking up like this and walking all the way up into a handstand. We're gonna skip this one and we're gonna go straight into the handstand kick up. Okay, okay cool. so if you couldn't do a handstand kick up, you develop that strength by doing wall walks up and down the wall, but I think you got this. So let me show you what a handstand kick up looks like. Put your hands shoulder width apart. You wanna look directly in the middle of your hands, but just above them. You got your eyes and your hands to make a triangle, right? Your fingertips line up with your shoulder tip and then one foot swings and the other foot kicks. And you wanna give enough energy so that when you reach, you don't slam against the wall. Okay, let's see what you got. What? This girl's a pro, hold that, hold that. Relax, breathe. You're gonna hold it for like 10 more seconds. When you're ready to come down, you bring one leg down first. No matter what, don't bend your arms. All right, you're good, you can come down. Nice and controlled, what? That was awesome. You killed that. That was a vibe. That's so sick. A lot of people have trouble even just kicking really? up for the first time like that. But I you're, feel free up there. you're a track star, girl. You're killing it. I'm saying, right, right. <laughs> I'm not like you yet. All right, so the next one, it's going to get a little tough now, okay? Oh, so once goes. you can handstand kick up comfortably, you know, normally people would train this for a while until like they master it, but we're just running through it. The next step would be to kick up into the handstand and then just use your fingers to press. You see, it's mm. kind of like you're pressing on a keyboard right. or like you're grabbing a ball, something like that. You wanna press with your fingertips until your feet just pry off the wall and then you come back down. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like, okay? And remember, every time you kick up into the wall, you wanna just arrive to the wall versus kicking off so hard and just mm. slamming So like come very gently. Right, because that's gonna come in handy because eventually we're gonna not use the wall and when you're not using the wall, you don't wanna like fly past the Got straight it. position. You want to always land in like that, right. that straight position or practice landing in that straight position. So when you come up, try to arrive nice and slow. Now from this position, you want to be as long and straight as possible. You see, I'm pushing my scapulas down, pointing right. my toes. We're going to keep our ankles tight, tight together. Press with your fingertips. You see when I press, my feet come off the wall. Yeah. I'm not kicking off the wall. I'm just pressing. So I'm going to press hard enough so that my feet come off the wall. And eventually and as as come can, down. No, okay. you just want to get up into position and then just start pressing until your feet pry off the wall and then come down. Boom, there you go. And then you just press your fingers. Yeah, that's it. Keep going a little more. There you go. There, right there. Now press until you come down. Boom. Excellent. Now, next time you try it again, after you come with two feet and you're off the wall yeah. and you feel like your body's coming down, let one leg go. That's what I felt like I should have done. But. Yeah. Boom, there you go. So now just press, feet tight together. As straight as you can and press your fingertips how you did before. There you go, keep pressing now. Keep pressing. 
Boom, there you go. For those of you that are meeting Mel for the first time, Mel has a pretty big following on IG. You have like over half a million followers. How did you get your social media following and how did that start? Um, how it kind of all started, I think just being passionate with my craft, what I was doing. I was creating content, you know, with no intention, just kind of doing it and having fun. And I think that makes all the difference. I think you can agree with that, like creating yeah, stuff, sure. having fun. And people feel that energy. Some of the stuff picked up on other fitness pages and it just started to grow and I was really consistent with it. People never expected a girl like me to be like killing it in the gym, I yeah. guess, pulling heavy weight, doing crazy routines. And they were like, wait, what is this going on? Impressive for sure. Right? And like all the muscles were popping out. I was a little yeah. meaner then. But, and then it started to grow once I started being able to impact someone else's life. So like, you know, helping them with an idea, helping them with a routine or, you know, even just like a program, right? Sure. Every time I sign on on IG and I, yeah. I mean, I see the little stories, I always see Mel's stories and like they are just like loaded with transformation pictures, yeah. all the progress pictures of all exactly. the people that are following you and doing your workout routines and stuff like that. It's, yeah. it's really amazing. It's really inspiring. So the next step is going to be the exact same thing, except that once you've been pressing and you get to about here where you're going to feel stacked, and I'm sure that you probably felt it at this point where you feel like there's like an equilibrium moment where right. you're weightless almost for a second, yeah, right? A second, right? So that moment, you want to kind of like capture that moment and stay there as long as possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to push until you feel like you're in that moment. And then when you are, you're going to release the, the pressure. So the best way to balance that is to always have a little bit of weight, like your body wants to go this way. And you're counterbalancing that weight by pressing a little bit with your fingertips to fight you from falling down to push you a little bit this way. So right. if you push too hard, you might end up going this way, but that's why you release. So it comes back and then press, release, press, press like that. Okay. So that's what we're going to be doing with this step. So I'll show you what it looks like. So kick up, handstand, you're going to press until you get off the wall and then look at my hands. You see when I, when I off, I press, then release, press, release. Press, release. Yep. So that's what we're going to practice. Let's try to hold that equilibrium point for about like, a good five seconds for the first time. Don't feel bad to touch the wall because you can touch the wall and then just okay, bounce right off. Yeah. yeah. Even if you're tapping it at the very beginning, that's actually really good. You can just start tapping it and eventually you'll just like not touch it. So right. touching it is fine too. Yeah. Boom. There you go. So press right here. You're going to pulse. So press and release, press and release feet together. Tight press and release. Boom. There you go. There you go. Release, release it completely. There you go. Press. There you go. That was awesome. Let's go for one more. Okay. Then we're ready for the last progression. Right. Man, you are flying through this, Mel. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do go. It. People normally take a couple of weeks to, really? to get as far as you are right now. Yeah. Well, I have a good coach now. Hey, let's get it. We're going to get this in a couple hours. <laughs> Boom. There you go. So press, release, release. Now press and release. Now pulse it right there. Release, press, release, 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 release hard. Press, release, release hard. There you go. Killing it. That was a really good one. Excellent. And the more you do that, eventually you're going to be able to hold that or just right. play with that longer and longer. I think focusing on the hands is so important. Like, yeah, it's all in the hands for sure. Yep, 100%. And of course, the more you do this, you're going to be able to hold it. It's going to get a lot more comfortable. And the first day, it always feels brand new. But eventually, right. this is going to be like an unconscious thing that you're going to do right. the more you do it, you know, like tying your shoes. Felt like that you feel that you do more. I know you got a lot of things going on. You're training like so many clients, hundreds of clients, because I've seen them. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Fit Esteem? Fit Esteem is like fitness meets mindset, really. So, like, really empower women. Because I think you can, you can agree with this that, like, you know, moving anything, your mental has to be there to get the physical woman. You gotta be like in a mental state of mind of like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go after it. So that is kind of like where I do my coaching, right? It's mentorship with mindset coaching with the fitness. I love how you combine fitness and the mental aspect of it because a lot of times you can have the whole game plan, but if you're just not mentally there to see it through, you yeah. won't see the results that you really want. You know, it's really, really insane if you say that because it's literally first mental before physical. For sure, and a lot of people actually they'll try to make up any other excuse before they come to terms with themselves where it's you, right. you know, and it's your exactly. mental state and you're not taking this seriously right. or you're not doing what you really are supposed to be doing. Exactly. You know? So exactly. that is like a, a, a foolproof plan. And maybe that's why you have so many amazing transformations and, and so many women, you know, following your yeah. programs. I think we're ready to move on to the final progression. Of course, if we had more time, I would love for you to work more on this, but 
just for the sake of you moving on and learning the last progression, continue to train yeah. this and eventually get it on your own. Let's go for the last progression. You ready? Do it. Okay, we're gonna not use the wall at all and then learn how to dismount. There's gonna be a lot of lower body that you're gonna have to balance up there. Are you ready for this? Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're gonna do. So when you dismount, it's kind of almost like doing a half cartwheel from a handstand. If you really don't know what side you're comfortable with, you can just kind of like pretend to kick up and then go down to one side, right? If that feels comfortable, pretend to kick up, come to the other side. It's like, all right, I like the left side, so I'll go with that. So you kick up. When you're ready to come down, as you start to come down, you put one leg to the side, you twist the hips, and you can also replace that hand. You don't have to do it for the first time, but it'll start to become like an automatic thing. Yeah. But the main thing is just to, whatever side you wanna go down on, you twist the hips to that side, you bring one leg down first, like a sideways cartwheel. Okay. You think you got that? I think so, I'm going to go to the left. All right, so I'll be on this side then. All right. Let's see, first attempt. I'm gonna hold your hand stand, so don't worry, we're gonna take this nice and slow. Just gotta trust me. You got this, you trust me, right? I, I, yes, I trust you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Boom, excellent. So hold that nice and straight. When you're ready to come, you turn to the side and you bring that foot down. Exactly. What? You freaking killed that. Oh my dude. god, I felt actually like I was floating. It was like the momentum right? was so slow. So we're gonna try this one more time. You ready? I got it, yeah. Bring your hips back more, like this. There you go. Now, exactly, right there. Now when you're ready to come down, you can bring that foot down to the side. So from here, bring that down, and then you do this. That's it. Kill it. I think you got one more in Yeah, here. one more. All right, let's do it. I feel like the first one's better. I'm gonna show you something too. So when you're doing this handstand, and this is totally normal, especially when you're starting to learn a handstand against the wall, if you don't do wall walks too, and you just practice just handstand kick ups, yeah. naturally that position is gonna put your body in like in an arched position, just because your hands are here and your feet are against the wall. Mm -hmm. So it's not a straight position. So try this real quick. Just try to go like that. Okay. And just arms straight, feet straight. Don't touch the wall yet. It might be hard for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but from this position, oh, no, it's like, wait, there's no, there's no range of motion here. <laughs> Just push your hips back until your glutes touch the wall, keeping your legs straight and your body straight too. Right. So from there, uh -huh. hips back, yeah. exactly. Just like that. So you see how your hips just move back a little bit like that? Now when you're doing that, your feet are on the ground, but when you're up in the air, your feet might need to compensate a little bit like that, you see? So they yeah. come a little forward. Because if not, if you push your hips back, your feet will go back too, you'll just get more arched. So that's the move. Once you're in once you're in the handstand position, just go boom like that. You're gonna feel like automatically you're gonna straighten out and it's gonna be way easier to hold. Alright, let's try it. Let's get one last one. I know you got this. Here we go, Mel. Let's get it. Kick up. You're gonna hold it. Now I'm holding you. Now put the hips. Yes, that's per no, the other way. There you go. Now from here, press and release. There you go. Now when you're ready. Dismount with one leg, go to the side. Oh. And that dismount was freaking awesome. You killed it today. Ooh. Appreciate you so much. Yeah. There you have it, guys. As you can see, the handstand's really not that hard. Mel just tried to learn it for the first time. She first ran, through, time. ran through all the progressions in a couple minutes, which is pretty impressive. And of course, I want you to train these on your own in a couple days, and we're gonna see, what you're, see yeah. where you're at. Definitely, you, you were handstand. great, so definitely. Appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't checked out Mel already, check out Mel on Instagram. It's Mel G Fit as well on all other platforms. If you enjoyed the video, then definitely smash that like button. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you would like me and Mel to do next. And we'll see you in the next video. Mad love. Peace out.